Quick Check feature is a powerful and highly customizable way to double check your work and ensure that you're shipping all of the correct materials to the job site. In this video, we'll briefly go over the general usage of the Quick Check tab, and then get more into depth and show you how you can create and customize your own set of rules to get the most out of the Quick Check feature. Located here in the Project tab, the Quick Check feature can be run at any time during the takeoff process. Clicking the Refresh button runs Quick Check to produce the list of potential errors or general items that you might have missed on your estimate. Depending on the scope of your work, these may or may not be items that you need to address. The left columns show the type of error, then a description, and the location of the error. Taking just a quick look at the errors I have here, I can quickly see that a few of them won't apply to this particular project. In this project, I have a second list for an optional second floor, but I don't need the sill seal for the second story, and there's enough house wrap in my main list to cover the second floor as well. In this case, I can just either leave the errors alone or left click on their icons to ignore the errors for the rest of the project. I'll do that for these items now. Next, I can see that I have a mismatched product depth for the main floor rim. The details column shows that I've called out 14 inch joists and the rim doesn't match that depth. I'll definitely wanna go back to fix that. Finally, I have a few unlinked errors here indicating that I've drawn out takeoff items that are not present in the list. Unlinked application indicates that I've called floor decking with no product assigned to it. Unlinked usage is saying that I've called out both an application and a product but I haven't linked or packed the material into my list. So in this example, the quick check produced a couple of errors that I need to fix before sending my work out. To see the full list of rules and even create your own set of rules, click the gear icon to open the rule manager. Notice that by default, not all of the pre-made rules are selected. If any of these rules would be useful to your work, you can check the box to turn them on. Others may not ever be useful for the type of work that you do, so you can simply turn them off by unchecking the box. You can also use the rule creator to create your own rules, so let's explore how to do that now. Let's say I want to create a rule that lets me know if I've drawn any lumber products longer than 30 feet, since anything longer than that is hard to come by in my area. Click rule creator, and the prompts will guide you through the process. First it asks, where do you want to test for an error? In specific packs, individual lists, or the project as a whole? In this case, I want to know if any of my packs have lumber materials exceeding 30 feet in length. So I'll choose every individual pack and hit next. It then asks what kind of rule we want. From the drop down menu, I'll choose material from a specific category does not exceed a specified length. Then we can just adjust some of the settings for this rule as necessary. In this case, it already has the category set to lumber and the length set to 30 feet. So I can just choose the severity of the error. And severity is just a way to indicate to yourself whether this is an error that absolutely requires your attention or whether it's just something that you want to be aware of. Once you're satisfied with the rule, hit create rule and the rule will be activated in your rule manager. From the rule manager, you can also edit and delete individual rules using the buttons here on the right. One final note about the quick check tab. On the left side of the screen, you have the general info feature. Clicking the refresh button here will give you a quick glance at quantities of common framing materials in your lists. Things like square footages, stud counts and spacing, sheathing types, and siding materials are tallied up here. If you already have a good idea of the quantities required for buildings of certain square footages, then this section can also act as an additional check for you as the estimator. Note, however, that this section checks the contents of your lists. So in my case, since I forgot to pack my floor decking on the main floor, no floor decking is showing in the main house list. So the quick check tab can be an essential way to catch small mistakes, save yourself time hunting down missing items, and allow you to put out the most accurate and complete materials lists. Thank you.